Hello everyone, welcome to PacMess and in this video I am going to solve this viral exponential math problem. So the question is 4 raised to power x minus 36 raised to power y is equal to 28. So here in this equation we will find the value of x and y. So let's start the video. First of all we will write solution and we will rewrite this question in solution again. So the question is 4 raised to power x minus 36 raised to power y is equal to 28. In the next step we can write 4 and 36 as 2 raised to power 2 4 raised to power x minus 36 can be written as 6 square whole to power y is equal to 20a. In the next step, we will use an exponential formula that is a raised to power m whole raised to power n can also be written as a raised to power n whole raised to power m. So by using this exponential formula, this equation can be written as 2 raised to power x whole square minus 6 raised to power y whole square is equal to 28. Here again we will use algebraic identity that is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So by using this algebraic identity we can write this equation as 2 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power y times 2 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 28. In the next step we will write this side as the same 2 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power y into 2 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to we will split this 28 to 2 times 14. In the next step this equation can also be written as 2 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power y is equal to 2 and 2 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 14. Let's say this may be equation number 1 and this may be equation number 2. Since we need to find the value of x and y, so we will add these two equations to find the value of x. So the first equation is 2 raised to power x minus 6 raised to power y is equal to 2. And the second equation is 2 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 14. So here these two terms will be cancelled with each other and this can be written as 2 times 2 raised to power x is equal to 2 plus 14 gives him 16. To find the value of x first we will simplify these two. So we will divide both sides by 2. This 2 and this 2 will be cancelled with each other. Here 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 8 is 16. So here 2 raised to power x is left and here only 8 is left and we know that 8 can be also written as 2 raised to power 3. Here the bases are same so we will compare the powers which gives him the value of x that is x is equal to 3. Now to find the value of y we will for this value of x 
in equation number 2. So, equation number 2 is 2 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 14. 2 raised to power x plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 14. So, here we will put the value of x, that is 3. So, it will become 2 raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 14. We know that 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8 plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 14. We will shift this 8 to the right hand side, so it will become negative. On the left hand side, 6 raised to power y is left and on the right hand side, it will become 14 minus 8. 6 is 6 to power y is equal to 14 minus 8 gives him 6. Here the power of 6 is 1. Again the bases are same. We will compare the powers with each other. So it implies that the value of y is 1. So finally the values of x, x and y are 3 and 1. Now we will put these values again in the equation to find out that the values of x and y are correct or not. So we will substitute the value of x and y in this equation. So we will write this equation again here that is 4 raised to power x minus 36 raised to power y is equal to 28. So we will substitute the value of x that is 3 minus also the value of y that is 1 is equal to 28. 4 raised to power 3 means multiply the number 4 3 times. So 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 times 4 is 64. So it is 64 minus 36 is equal to 28. No, 14 minus 6 gives him 8 and 5 minus 3 gives him 2. 28 is equal to 28. Since both sides are the same, so it means that the value of x is equal to 3 and the value of y is equal to 1 are the exact and correct roots of this viral exponential equation.